Andrew Heaney, the veteran lefty. Going to give it a go against the Red Sox. You see on the year, the numbers, 37 walks, 131 strikeouts. So 24 home runs is what stands out. And a little bit more in our pitcher scouting report. That really what it is what it's all about. He needs a good one. And the big fly watch, because he's given up eight home runs in 15 innings as a Yankee, and the way he gets out of that is get that fastball life back. He pitches off of his fastball. It's kind of sneaky quick. It's got a little life to it, a little riding action. If he's getting late swings, he's got a chance. On the year, Bogarts at 307, and against Heaney, he actually is hitting one at bat better than 500. He's seven for 13. And he swings and drives one in the air to right field down the line toward the corner. Will it go? Yes! Second deck home run Xander Bogarts, one nothing Boston. His 19th of the year is 67th RBI. Xander Bogarts continues to own Andrew Heaney's now eight for 14 with two doubles, two homers, and four RBIs. I would say he's properly rated. That is such a big, big swing for Xander and the Red Sox. I feel like maybe everybody can just take a deep breath. It'll loosen everybody up a little bit. And the righty, Nick P Pavetta, going to make his 24 start here in the Bronx tonight. And all those numbers right there pretty solidly above average when you look at them. And as we're going to tell you in the scout report, yeah, it is a solid year. A lot of different ways to slice it and dice it. His 53.3 game score for a starting pitcher is solidly above average. About 50 to 51 is considered average, and he's well supported. And the team record is 15 and 8 in his games, averaging almost six runs. Well, here is Anthony Rizzo back in the lineup. The Riz. He's at 251, 17 homers, 46 RBIs. Swung on and hit in the air softly to left center on the run. Good catch by Renfro. A while to get over there. Verdugo is converging, going to his left, Renfro to his right, but he made the catch. Giancarlo Stanton leads off the bottom of the second inning. Yankees trail 1 0. And the pitch is lined. There's a base hit to left field. So Stanton singles. There's the tying run at first with no one out. Seeing Stanton and Judge both covering that breaking ball during this run. Both of them swinging the bat much better. Covering the breaking ball late in the count much better. Judge hitting him to right. Stanton staying through that ball, hammered at the ball to the left. So the Yankees have something going in the second inning a single and a walk. Five ball shallow right coming on Martinez. And he can't make the play. Hustling to second is Odor. And he's out. The Yankees are challenging. Looks like he's safe. Look, his hand is on the base before the ball is in the glove. So Yanks have the bases loaded, no one out for Gardner, Velasquez, and LeMayhew. Fly ball. Center field. This will get in Stanton. Renfro makes the catch. Stanton tags and goes. The throw comes to third. The other runner stays. It's a sack for life for Gardner, and that ties the game at one. Now here's Andrew Velasquez, a switch hitter batting left. Vasquez in the Yankee 5-3 win in game one of the doubleheader. Velasquez had a two-run single. Hit on the ground toward the middle. Base hit. Right center field. Here comes Odor. He'll score. Heading toward third is Sanchez. It's a base hit and an RBI for Andrew Velasquez. The Yankees take a 2-1 lead. And Susan, one thing. If Velasquez is going to get base hits, he's going to be playing a lot of shortstop because his shortstopping is great. Yeah, everything he does and, and this kid talk about, I mean, and we keep saying it every day, now he's getting instructions from Reggie Willits because he can really steal and he can really run. Runners at second and third infield moves back for the left-hand hitter, Anthony Rizzo. Grounded to first and off the glove of Dolbach, rolling down the right field line. One run scores, two run score Velasquez. Bobby Dolbach could not field it cleanly and now it's four to one Yankees. Well, it was up a breaking pitch that was up and he got underneath it. You could see that. But it is a two run single and what happened it, it hit the line and off of Dahlbeck's glove. So they give Russo a base hit. It's a two run base hit for Anthony. Yanks take a 4 1 lead. Your third for JD Martinez here. The Red Sox look it's only the fourth inning even just getting that one run home be a big help for the Red Sox chances in this game swung on hit on the ground wide of third grab beautifully by Odor throws the first in time beautiful play he saved a run what Devers did in the top half or the bottom half of last inning well that's just what uh, Odor did cut off a base hit in the shortstop hole. 
Tigers right hand hitting Bobby Dolbach one on and one out top of the fifth 4 one yank and the pitch is line grab by LeMahieu what a leap LeMahieu waited timed it and jumped as high as he could and got the line drive in the top of his glove a terrific play obviously by far Heaney's best game as a yank Xander Bogarts homered and then hit into a force. One on, one out. We're in the top of the sixth. Bogarts hits a one hopper to third, double play ball. Go to second one, on to first. It's a double play. It's a 5 4 3 double play. And indeed, Mr. Heaney gets through six innings beautifully. Heaney has pitched by far the best game his pitch as a yank. Two down in the seventh. Popped him up. Shallow center. Gardner in. Gardner makes the catch. And a 1 2 3 inning. For Andrew Heaney, absolutely brilliant. 108 pitches and just two hits, and that one home run off the bat of Bogarts in the first inning. So here is Britain. As boy, is this big for the Yankees, isn't it, Susan? Yes. See if, if Britain can pitch like the old Zach Britton, that's what they're looking for. Left hand hitting Alex Verdugo is in. Swing, miss. Well, that's that's an important number when you see his fastball at 95. His first pitch of that count was 96, and I don't think we've seen that since he's been back. And this is a good two seamer at 95. This is the one you look up. There was so much movement; it almost looked like a curveball. Now two down. Here is Andrew Velasquez. Hit shortly. And a base hit and another ribby for Velasquez. Scoring is Sanchez, and the Yankees lead five to one. Four ribbies. For Velasquez in the last couple of days, he had three in his entire major league career. A four-run deficit. Top of the order, Hernandez, Renfro, and Bogarts. That'll be up against the role as Chapman, who has just returned. There's a swing and a high drive to deep left field. This is long gone. Home run hunter Renfro way back into the bleachers. He got a fastball on the inside. He really nailed it. Hunter Renfro with a tremendous home run. His 22nd of the year, and it's 5-2 Yankees. There's Xander now homered back in the first and he bounced another one ball four bounced the slider and here is a really great hitter J.D. Martinez line to right field there's a base hit the run won't score judge gets it on a hop and fires in that's going to bring up Pawecki as the tying run and Pawecki is not facing Chapman so it is going to be Litke against Pawecki with the game on the line grounded in the hole diving stop Velasquez it got past the diving door somehow. Velasquez made the play. They don't need any stinking laughers. They just win close games. 